Bitcoin can drop 50%. It can drop 50% from anywhere. From any point, you could, you have to have the, the, the belief that Bitcoin can drop 50%. And even if it's at the bottom of the support of some model, it can still drop 50%. It's a highly volatile thing, which can drop 50%. Now, it also tends to, over time, go up a lot. It, it is a very high performing asset, right? But it's an asset that can drop for 50%. So if you are leveraged two to one, there is a non-zero probability that you are gonna get completely and utterly wiped out, you know, over time. You're playing with fire and you don't need, you shouldn't play with fire. What you should do is you should take some percentage of your net worth and, and just put it in Bitcoin and literally not touch it until that thing is 10x. If you're leveraged, a 50% drop in Bitcoin will crush you. So just allocate a portion of your wealth to it. Hold on and let the 10x gains come. That's the latest message from Wall Street veteran and mathematician Fred Krueger. Bitcoin is a powerful, high-performing asset, but its volatility cannot be ignored. It can drop 50% at any moment, which is why Krueger reminds us that no matter how bullish you are on Bitcoin, putting 100% of your wealth into it is reckless. You need balance, dry powder for opportunities, and a plan for life's unpredictable events. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video as Fred Krueger discusses how to position yourself for Bitcoin's long-term potential. Also guys, if you want to stay most up to date on the crypto world, I send out a daily five minute crypto newsletter that covers expert predictions, on-chain data breakdowns, and breaking news, all for free. Click the first link in the description, enter your email, and join 50, 000 plus others to become a better crypto investor right now. Now, here's Fred Krueger with his recent outlook. Leverage is gonna get you in trouble every single time in Bitcoin. Like everybody who, you know, everybody who blew up, they all blew up because of leverage, right? That's why they blew up. You know, it took me a while to really understand A, Bitcoin, the value proposition, and B, how to play Bitcoin, which is you do not trade Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, I do think that the the one thing that, that gets people <clears throat> is this leverage. And it's just completely unnecessary. I don't care how much big your stack is. You really do not need to go borrow 2x on it. There's just no reason to do that, right? And it's... Again, it's pretty simple math. Uh, Bitcoin can drop 50%. <laughs> it, it, it can, and, and your people are like, well, it can, it can't drop 50% from here because it, it, it can only drop 50 per Well, you don't know that it can drop 50% from anywhere from any point. You could, you have to have the, the, the belief that Bitcoin can drop 50%. And even if it's at the bottom of the support of some model. It can still drop 50%. It's a highly volatile thing, which can drop 50%. So if something can drop 50%, now, it also tends to, over time, go up a lot. It, it is a very high-performing asset, right? But it's an asset that can drop 50%. So um, if you are leveraged two to one, there is a non-zero probability that you are going to get completely and utterly wiped out you know, over time. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's amazing how many people didn't get that memo, uh, just over and over and over and over again that, you know, they're, they're I'm going to dart in and out. I'm going to be smarter. I'm going to be, I'm going to wait. Well, you, you, all these things may be true, but you're playing with fire and you don't need, you shouldn't play with fire. What you should do is you should take some percentage of your net worth and, and just put it in Bitcoin. And, literally not touch it until that thing is 10x you should not have a situation where all of your money can get wiped out by some wick down and you could say it'll never happen but by definition you need to compartmentalize things so that whatever you're doing nothing can happen and you and whatever you're saying is that black swan we've lived through enough black swans now to know that black swans happen and they happen not only with Bitcoin, they happen with finance. I mean, they happen all over the place, you know. You know, as, as a guy's been in finance, what did I see? I saw the October, uh, you know, 87 crash. I was there, you know. Uh, and uh, 
you know, I saw the um, the uh, Japan crash, right, in 1990. I was there, you know, floor of Nomura Stock Exchange the day it crashed, you know, the day it peaked. It didn't completely crash in one day, but, but you know. So I saw the crash of the Japanese market very closely. You know, the great financial crisis crash. Saw that, was there, been there, done that, you know. And so, you know, now you get all the crypto crashes, right? 2017, was there, was that. 2013, I, I wasn't big enough that it mattered. It, 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 it was insignificant for me. Um, but, you know, and then 2022, you know, been there, lived through the crash, right? So, you know, I've been through all these crashes and my, the learning is crashes happen. Crashes happen. Crashes. And so, you know, do I think that there will be another crash in the next five years? A hundred percent. There's going to be, we are going, we are living in a very unstable world, right? The, you know, the financial world is unstable. $35 trillion in debt uh, is, uh, you know, 122% GDP is unstable. You know, there's a lot of things that are unstable now with this world. So, uh, you know, holding Bitcoin and having leverage with it is unstable. So you have to, you have to allow for a lot of instability in this world. And I think it can be, it can be positive, right? It can work to your advantage. And that's why I would I would recommend people not be 100% in Bitcoin. Even if you're mega, mega bullish on Bitcoin, you should be something like 60 or 70% invested in Bitcoin. That's it. You should never be beyond that, right? Never, ever, right? Why? Because if it totally crashes, you're going to want to like pick some up. You want to have some dry gunpowder, right? Uh, maybe you're going to be able to buy some crazy miner for, you know, a third of the price of the mining equipment, you know, I just think you need to have dry powder, um, and other, you know, just, and, and also personal things can happen to you. You can get, you know, you can get divorced, you can get a lawsuit, you can get hit by a car, you know, a lot of things can happen to you. So, I mean, we're just living in a very, especially now we're living in a very uncertain time and i think you need to plan accordingly so uh and you know i part of that comes with being a little older i think as you know i think one of the the strengths that founders have who are you know are in their 20s or in their 30s is they take these crazy risks and they're they're not aware of how big a risk that they're taking right they're taking just this crazy risk and they're betting everything on, you know, on number 12 and number 12 comes up. Meanwhile, after ringing the New York Stock Exchange opening bell, Donald Trump discussed his outlook on the stock market, cryptocurrency, AI, and more during a CNBC interview with Jim Cramer. Trump expressed confidence in the economy and stressed that the US needs to take the lead in cryptocurrency and artificial intelligence. He teased plans to do something great with crypto and mentioned the potential for a Bitcoin strategic reserve. The president-elect also emphasized the need to resolve global conflicts, seemingly referring to Ukraine-Russia and Israel-Hamas, and discussed strengthening ties with China. Trump praised Elon Musk for Tesla's stock performance and shared plans to meet with Jeff Bezos next week, following a recent meeting with Mark Zuckerberg. Following this announcement, Bitcoin surged past its previous all-time high, soaring above $106,000. Now let's go back to Fred Krueger as he shares additional insights. I definitely think that anybody who's thinking about the future and is not really factoring in that 10 years from now you're going to have quasi-sentient AI is is very mistaken. Because I, I definitely think that it's it's moving so so much faster than we ever expected. Um, and look, chat GPT is only two years old, you know? So, you know, in, in two years we went from, oh, this is like, there's some cute sort of images to this thing can, you really can't code without this thing now. Right. Um, I'm using chat GPT more than I'm using Google now. You know, I just use it for everything. 
you know, a- any question I have, you know, I just ask chat GPT, any tech support question I have, uh, you know, interpretation, I give it a graph, interpret this graph, you know, so you talk, talk to it as well. I don't do the talking part. I just, but look it, in, you know, there's this notion right now that chat GPT is somewhat hobbled, right? Because it can't kind of go out and it can't send emails and that's going to change pretty quick. You know, it'll, it'll be able to, you know, send emails directly. Like, you know, great. Send an email to all my, send an email to all my family and friends on their birthday. Great. You know, uh, you know, the personal assistant part of AI, this is happening in the next couple of years. Like, you know, I, and you know, since I got the 17 year old, I, I, I'm very interested in like, you know, I'm sort of telling him, you know, this is, this is kind of the way I see your life, you know? And that's like, do you want to be a coder? No, maybe not, but you better understand how AI is going to change whatever, whatever you end up doing, right? Because you're going to need to understand how to work with AI and that's going to be critical. As AI continues to reshape industries, those who adapt and embrace it will thrive while others risk being left behind. At the same time, Bitcoin remains the ultimate symbol of decentralization and financial innovation. Together, AI and Bitcoin are shaping a future where technology and finance merge, offering incredible opportunities for those paying attention. The question is, are you ready to keep up with these changes and take advantage of what's coming? Now, don't forget, if you want guidance through the exciting but sometimes unpredictable world of cryptocurrency, our daily five-minute crypto newsletter is here to help. Don't pass up the chance to stay updated and make informed choices in the crypto market. The link is in the description below. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video and that it provided you with some value. I'll see you all in the next one. And as always, all the best.